Hi everyone, today we are going to introduce about the Hip Vision and BL camera, which the model is DS TCG227 AIR. And then here we mounted like some bed camera and a pole here. And then here we have the TV here to show as an actual environment. This video it actually we can download at the YouTube video there. And then this is a Singapore plate standard car plate. So this one is our testing environment. Now I will show you guys on the web configurations for the LPR camera 227. The model number is DS TCG 227 AIR. Okay, so as you guys can see here, this is the live view. So every vehicle pass by, it will capture, as you can see, it can capture the car plate of the car. Okay, so next, I will show you guys on the simple configuration for this LPR camera. So the first step, you can go to setup wizard and image adjustment. For image adjustment, you need to draw the trigger line. As here, I already draw. You need to draw the border line left and right and also the trigger line trigger line is a line when the car pass by it will capture directly at the same time when it's once it passed by the trigger line so this is one so we need to save after this so after that you can go to the configuration configuration under this application mode you need to set it the trigger type as video detection by default it will be as io coin so you need to set it as a video detection so after that you can go on to the entrance and exit from here you can set for the entrance and exit management the car vehicle type the temporary vehicle blacklist vehicle or whitelist vehicle and also you can control the remote barrier to close open or unlock but for this control you only apply for heat vision barrier okay so for the black list and white list in here you can add in the black list white list of the car okay so to get the template you can click, click import then you go here download template this is a template so this is an example you, you can type in the plate number the list type black or white the if this have an access card you also can type in the access card number and also the valid time the valid period the start time and also the end time so after you type in all the plate number you want in this list okay you can import you can go back to here and import it inside you just choose your file and click import yeah so you get your whitelist and blacklist over here now i really log into our hex central professionals web client for using this software you may need to purchase license so you can check on our license details over here and you can see the npr camera which is the lpr camera i showed you guys just now we have one out of four out of four okay so i can show you guys how to add on this device to this software as you can see this is our lpr camera and the network status is already online yes because we already add in advanced yeah so when you want to add device you can either choose from the online device you detected below or you can just press add over here and type in the device address, IP address, the device name, username, and also the password. Then you can add. Or you can either choose from the online device and click this add to device list. So now we we'll proceed to our LPR camera configurations. And it is related to a vehicle. So it is a vehicle icon here. You can click inside. So over here, you can see the vehicle. And this is what how we add the car list inside here you can just click add 
can type in the license plate number, the color, and also the brand. You can also type in the vehicle owner information over here, then click add. Yeah, so as, as now we already add one, one car inside the 7794. Okay, so the next will be the parking lot. So if you have two cameras, the, you can press one at entrance and one at exit. So you can manage the parking lot also, the capacity, the free parking spaces. And the next one will be the entry and exit rule. So you can set for the rule for vehicles in list and also rule for vehicle not in list. So you can click add. You can type in your rule name and you can set the open barrier for entering is automatic or manual. For exit is automatic or manual. Or you also can set the schedule. You can all day or you can set the custom schedule. Okay, so this will be the web client configuration for the LPR camera. So now we proceed to the HIP Central Professional Control Client. For this control client, it's mainly for monitoring purpose and also you can search for reports. Okay, you can go under this entrance and exit. Click inside. So over here, you can click this icon, the video icon, so you can see the live view. So once the car passed by, it will capture. It capture as a picture and will show that show you instantly. Okay, see so it's a car plate. So on the beside here, you can see the vehicle information, the and also entering records, the entering or exit, entering time. So on the below here, you can see the vehicle records. Yes. So as you just now we mentioned, I already add this 7794 into our car list. It will show directly the heat vision car list. And when it's and passing time, yes. We will show here. Okay, so this is our monitoring page. So you can monitor over here. So next we go to our reports. It's a vehicle search. You can search for the vehicle records. Okay, so you can try to search vehicle passing records and the time. Okay, choose today. And the source will be the entry and exit. I choose my LPR camera just now. So you can turn on the filter if you want. So you press search. Okay, it should already show directly. This is in a list mode. So it can show you all the car plate number, entering and also the entering time. It show you show you directly over here. So you can see just now the vision car list. And the, the vehicle owner, owner, yes. All over you can see over here. So if you want to add this guy into your list, you can just click this add to list. Yeah. So for the grid mode, so for grid mode you can able to see the pictures directly. You can see all the pictures and also the time. So it's easier for you to monitoring and search search for the vehicle. Yes. So if you want to export this as a report, you can click this export over here. You can click. You can either export it as an Excel, export the pictures, or also export as a CSV. I hope you guys enjoy this. See you guys in our next video. If you have any questions, you can just straight away contact to our sales or technical department. See you guys in our next video. Thank you. Bye bye.